Hello. Tiananmen Square protest leader Chai Ling hasn't lost her people skills. Has a new student enrollment, is okay? The students she is concerned about these days are part of her U.S.-based technology business. 20 years ago this week, Chai led thousands of students in demanding economic reform in China's pro-democracy rallies. It's really amazing. It's, um, it, when I heard the word 20, it just seems to be such a shock. She was called the commander-in-chief, but preached nonviolence. I cherish those moments, and that was the most gorgeous time of Beijing, most beautiful time. Her hopes were crushed when the Chinese government ordered in the tanks. Hundreds, maybe thousands, were killed. Chai Ling rejects suggestions that the students should have disbanded as early reports of military action spread. We, based on the information, limited information we had, we made the best judgment we could. She became a fugitive, in hiding for months, unable to see her parents. The 21 most wanted list, um, I was number four on that list, so it wasn't a pleasant way to see your daughter on TV. Nearly a year after Tiananmen, a videotape announcing she was free after a dramatic escape from China in a cargo container. Then the press conferences and speeches, and a new life in America, university, and job hunting. When you were on your job resume, did you ever, did you put commander in chief? I mean, did that help or hurt? I tr hurt. So Chai Ling did what she says she's good at, starting new enterprises. With her American husband, they founded Genzibar, an education software company. As you all know, GICS is one of our flagship product line. Even at this Washington conference, the capitalist Chai Ling can't escape those who were there. She was a leader before, now she's still my leader because we bought her software. How often does that happen that you meet someone in the square? Um, from time to time, and you know, I, I do get to meet people, people in the most unexpected occasions. It's very sweet when that happens. Yeah. Nice memories? Wonderful memories, yes. Wonderful memories. A touch of sadness, though, of course. Totally, yes. yes. A wave of sadness when she greets Fan Jin, who just got out of China. He lost his legs, run over by a tank while lifting a woman protester out of the way. I feel a great deal of uh, responsibility to help him and because I felt like you know I see myself in him. Chai Ling's message to Chinese students today? The message would be don't give up. The hope will continue for free China um, to study well, to be prepared and try to also do some good things. But Chai Ling will not be returning to China anytime soon. She is still a wanted woman. Richard Roth, CNN, Washington.